Hey everybody, it's Ashley, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. We're located in Pine Hall, North Carolina. We are by appointment only, and the best way to reach me is 828-773-4500. So this is a 2020, built in 2019, but a 2020 Merhau. 8014 stock combo. So this one's a little different. So I'm going to kind of point a couple of things out about it, but it is a 14 foot straight wall um, layout with a slide box and it has two recliners in it. So pewter in color. It does have the graphics. I'm on the wrong side, guys. I'm usually on the other side. So I'm going to kind of pop around and stop where I'm at right here and I'll come back around at this. So a um, couple of things for the front. It's got dual hydraulic jacks, two propane tanks, jiffy jack, which is that jack underneath your tire, a lockable battery box. It does have the stainless nose. Again, 2020, but built in 2019. Um, it's a stainless nose, pewter in color. It does have a slide. It is a 27 foot box so 27 foot box so it does have the load light package so it's got load lights all the way around with switches just want to point out it does not have let me get this in expanded it does not have an escape door um the stock back is 12 feet and then the um Living quarters is a 14 foot straight wall. So, um, you know, that, that comes up to be 26. However, when I put a measuring tape on it, which I think it's a little bit of the, the angle on the, the front, it's probably 20, 26 in all honesty. Rear ramp, 50, 50 butterfly doors. So this trailer will hold a side by side. It does have, and I'm gonna show you here in a minute, it does have the um, hooks in the floor that were done at the factory. It does have two dividers. So you take the divider, the one divider out and leave the one in, you can haul three horses, potentially three small horses. Um, you leave the dividers in, it's a two horse. So just um, giving you that explanation. Our normally stock, st normal stock backs are 14 foot. This one is 12. So in the floor, it's got tie rings all the way around. All right, so another thing, and, and this is gonna change, and it's gonna change as soon as Bud gets back, but the saddle rack is, is in here wrong. It's gonna actually be turned this way. So uh, kind of ignore that. The saddle racks will be facing where an escape door would be. So facing the driver's side of the trailer. So they will not be facing out. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get this trailer videoed. Um, I just haven't turned that around yet, um, that pull around. So bridle racks, hooks, excuse me. Empty weight of this trailer is 10,180. This is a next generation. This is just a stock combo. So I'm gonna shut this gate so I can kind of show you um, as best I can. So now you see how the tack is in that, that section there. So you have a place for your tack. And I'm going to try to show you. It's actually, because of it being a straight wall, it's actually a good bit of room. So you would put your tack there. And then you actually, as I fall out of the back of the trailer, um, you've got a divider. And then you've got one more divider. So now you've got basically two horse slant. But this back box is huge. Um, so that's why I'm saying if you take out the one divider, you could haul three. Actually, looking at it now, you could haul three easily. So um, <clears throat> hopefully that makes sense. These stock combos are super hard to video, super hard to explain. Um, <clears throat> they've got the, the rail here, which is what's put in here to tie horses to. They've chosen to put tie rings above. So it does have three tie rings. Um, looks like that. Well, it's got four. Excuse me. It's got two in this stall, two in this stall. So does have the added plexi. That plexi does come out. This trailer's in immaculate shape. It doesn't even look like horses were in it. Um, I do have a picture from the previous owner that shows an ATV, which was a side-by-side -side he put in it. And I do have that um, picture. 
So, <clears throat> a little bit different stock combo, 12 foot stock back, keeps it nice, short, tight, um, great size trailer to have a 14 foot LQ. I think that was the purpose, um, trying to keep it short, but yet have a great um, living space area for them. So, load light package, I think I said, aluminum wheels. Um, this trailer does have an outside shower. Um, basically in this little compartment here, you can, uh, if you needed to wash something, um, do something outside, it does have a way to hook up um, water. So I'm gonna put this trailer in a one to 10, and we'll put it a 10. It has absolutely no issues with it. Power awning, inside outside speakers, flip up step at this at the um, living quarters door. So this particular trailer is the all real hickory. This is an upgrade in our trailers. It's an upgraded wood. So absolutely everything in this trailer is hickory. It is all real wood. It actually has some of the de decor package. So it's got the valances with the um, faux snake skin it is recliners in this in the slide box it does have all the soft touch walls super pretty it's got the basket weave which is also a textured soft touch on the ceiling and that just gives it some depth um makes it really look good actually it's a very uh a finishing i guess point on the decor in this LQ. I couldn't think of what to say, guys. <laughs> um, so two cabinets up there with a, uh, I guess a shelf, 110 outlets on both sides of the bed area. You've got cabinets above the windows on both sides. Again, like I said, the valances have the snake skin in them. Um, there is a hookup for a TV on this side. I'm gonna step up, kind of video around. Um, so there is a TV hookup. You can mount a TV on the back of this wall here. If you wanted, it's got the two steps up to the bed. They have the decor mirror. That is an upgraded mirror, and it's actually um, got the uh, it's alligator skin, not snake skin. Oh, geez. Um, so it has the faux alligator skin around that mirror. It is the bar, so you do have a sitting area there um, with two hanging bar stools. They, they sit tucked hung away out of your way there when you come in the door i really like that the high back ones are great but those kind of are completely out of your way it is a rear kitchen with a convection microwave it does have a two burner glass top stove dual sinks which i'll show you those here in a minute it does have a big fridge there on the wall uh with that mirror so um spinning around to the kind of the entertainment portion cabinets below the TV area, TV does have a swing arm and can swing out. It does have propane furnace with ducted AC. Again, guys, this trailer is it, it, like brand new. Um, in all honesty, these people's ha people had a, a decision to build a new trailer. So that is the only reason that this trailer is here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, they just wanted to do something different. And a Murhow. Actually, they are building a Murhow. All right, so big fridge. <clears throat> Double stainless sinks. Your kitchen area. It's kind of a little galley kitchen area here. Looking back, I'm a big fan of the squared off bathrooms. Um, it gives you a lot of room in here. Actually, um, this has a solid pocket door with a mirror. So when you slide that door over, you've got a full length mirror in here as well. Um, cabinets behind the toilet, sink and vanity, very deep. I mean, a lot of room in there. I mean, that's probably a good, I don't know, 11 inches deep. Walk through door to the back area. And then the nice thing is, is it's got closets here with hanging bars and a closet here with a hanging bar. One stain, stain inside this, this uh, cabinet. It's not causing any issues. Just wanna point that out. It's got the dome shower. 
And let me try to show you this basket weave on the ceiling. Fantastic fan. So straight wall. Um, here's your hot water heater and still gives you some storage there as well. Straight wall, 14 foot. 80-14-2020 Merhau. Excellent shape. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, again, it's here. They are building a new Merhau. Recliners are great. Had someone ask me, can a couch go back where the recliners are? Yes, it can. So that can be done. If that's of concern couch can most certainly go back um, kind of gives you a better idea with the Sun in there of how pretty that wood is it's it's beautiful guys all right so can't really fault this trailer for anything it is a little custom in the sense that they've cut the two feet off the back of the stock box but in all honesty it works I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of thought twice about keeping it myself. Um, I mean, I don't need to do that, but it's a really cool trailer and it's not too big. And I think that's the key. I like the recliners too. So anyway, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. We appreciate you watching and liking our YouTube or subscribing to our YouTube. And any feedback that you can give me, I'd greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great day.